This is number four in a series of footwork for your trail foot. If you haven't watched the previous ones, please go back and watch them. So remember what we did on our previous drills. We took our pipe, our stance, and we learned how to turn back and screw our trail foot down into the ground. We have the feeling of the trail foot screwing itself down into the ground. And then in our next drill, we learned how to take our trail foot and turn it out at the toe. Just turn it out. Now we're going to combine those two. We're going to make that full turn and then we're going to turn our trail foot out at the toe, but we're going to keep our spikes dug into the ground. We're going to keep our trail foot flat footed on the ground with our spikes dug in. What that will do is it will power us to turn in the other direction. Now recall the turn on your back turn is, is a shoulder move. You don't use your hips or your legs, it's just your shoulders. It's your shoulders screwing you down into the ground. I want you to turn like this. Now that little move there was powered completely by my trail foot. Completely by this movement. I did not use my hips, I didn't use my core, I didn't use my shoulders just this little move on my foot. And notice it makes a pretty good swing. You're gonna be surprised just how much power comes out of just that one little move with your foot. In fact, for a lot of you, you'll be hitting it just as far just using this little move with your foot as you were using all the other muscles of your body and having bad footwork. So again, keep your body relaxed. Really the only two things you're using this are your shoulders on the back turn and your trail foot on the down turn. So just turn it and twist. Now one thing to remember is on this trail foot, you want to keep your heel down and your foot flat as long as you can. When you come on the downswing, you don't want to come up on your toe. You want to come to the inside of your foot, keeping your heel down. It's the momentum of your turn that eventually drags you up onto your toe. If you're having to use your muscles to get up on your toe, then you're really coming up too early. And there are a lot of bad things that happen when you come up on your toe. When you come up on your toe, on your swing, early, it moves your hips out. When you you move toward the line. When your hips move out, then your hands have to move out because there's not enough space. When your hands have to move out, then you have to come from the outside over the top. And of course you know when you come over the top, you're going to slice. So keeping that heel down as long as possible so you can come from the inside is very important. So you keep that heel down and you let it roll. Let me show you exactly with my foot how long the heel stays down in this. Notice how late my heel came up? That's because it's being drug up by momentum. I'm not trying to get on my toes. If you try to get up on your toes, you're going to slice or I believe the correct term here is humping the goat, sticking your hips out. So stay off of that. Now, the other, the reason I'm having you do this with a pipe is so you can learn that feeling in your shoulders of your shoulders being left behind. I'm sure you've all heard instructors talk about at the top of the back swing, how it feels like they complete their back swing and then they start their down swing, but it feels like their arms are being left behind. Like their arms are still moving backwards even though they've started the down swing. This is how you get that feeling. Because what happens is you make your turn to the top and your momentum of your shoulder turn is still going and then you start to twist your trail foot. Start to use your footwork to drive your down swing. And when you do that, 
yeah, the bottom part of your body is moving down, but the top part is continuing to move back. When you use a pipe to practice with, it'll overemphasize that and you'll learn that feeling. So that's part of this drill is to learn that feeling at the top of the backswing. Learn the feeling that your shoulders are being left behind when you start the downswing. Like they're still moving back, even though you've started the downswing. Now, I want you to do this a hundred times. Again, you need to drill this in. Don't skip the drills or the repetitions. They don't take that long. You can get your clicker and do them five repetitions at a time. It's just one. Two, three, four, five, and then count them one, two, three, four, five. One other thing, as I'm thinking about it, it's important to keep this foot flat footed. If you get to the top of your turn and it, you're rolling out onto the edge, you're gonna have problems. You need to keep flat footed if, definitely flat footed. If anything, you're gonna ver vary. You wanna be a little bit on the inside of the edge. But flat footed is the best way to have it. It keeps all your spikes down and gives you the most power. But definitely, once you've rolled out on this edge, You've raised your spikes up off the ground and you don't have enough power to really turn. You can't really dig in. So that's the drill. It's number four. Do it a hundred times.